It's like any good old American town, where you can find the stars and stripes planted in the city's heart. Here in Trenton, Missouri, 6,000 people called this small community home, including recent Stevens College graduate Lauren Gray. My life is here. Lauren just received her bachelor's degree of fine arts and dance and hopes to become a professional dancer. Honestly, the biggest thing I'm concerned about right now is being a recent college graduate is getting a job and being an adult. But her American dream will come to a halt on her 21st birthday. On August 8th, my 21st birthday, I age out of my parents' visa. Lauren is facing deportation. Born in England, her parents moved her family here in 1995 when Lauren was just four years old. I didn't make the choice to bring myself here. I was brought here and I was made to like be involved in things. Make sure your waitress knows you have the car. Lauren's mom, Allie, and dad, Ian, moved to Trenton to be closer to Allie's parents who came to the U.S. to work as farmers. It was increasingly hard when mom came to visit to say goodbye to her. The couple bought this local hotel and restaurant nearly two decades ago. This is where we have the salad bar. Since then, it's been their livelihood and their ticket to being legal immigrants. Every minute any one of the four of us have been here. We've been legal from day one. The entire family is legally in the United States because of an E-2 visa or an investment visa. Lauren's parents qualify for it because they own a business and employ U.S. citizens. But when Lauren turns 21, the government won't consider her a dependent and she can no longer live under her parents' visa, making her an illegal immigrant. It's just always like feeling like we're unwanted, I guess. I am unwanted. Like, I shouldn't have to feel like I don't belong in the place that I was brought up in. Ali says the family members applied for their green cards in 2003. Nearly 10 years later, they're still waiting on the government to issue them. There's just nothing we can do. We have to wait our turn. There was many tears. And it's difficult to run the business when you're just crying constantly. The Grays booked a flight for Lauren to go back to England on July 31st where she plans to live with her aunt. For Lauren, she says she will leave behind all she to, knows. I don't know, I've been avoiding it for a very long time. <laughs> it's hard saying goodbye. I just can't even think about it. The Grays run the considerable risk of getting stuck in England and losing their visa if they try to visit. And for Allie, the thought of not being able to hold her daughter is unimaginable. I just feel dreadfully guilty that I'm putting her through this. I'm sure she'll be fine and like I say, she's been very strong. My immigration practice is... Immigration lawyer Art Hernandez says he's seen families all across Missouri face the same situation. Every person I have it's the same story. Hernandez says making a status change in the U.S. is a complicated and slow-moving process, and his best advice is something many immigrants don't have time to hear. I have to do what I tell everybody else. Just be patient. Follow the rules. Do what's right. Allie says she tried reaching out to Missouri politicians like Congressman Sam Graves. We also tried to contact Graves. His office sent us this statement. My office has assisted the family in identifying all lawful options available to them. Unfortunately, this is a complex case in which there is no perfect answer for the family or friends. The family says it's tried everything it can think of, including seven different lawyers. For now, all Lauren can do yeah. is wait. It's definitely not going to be okay. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing this for because I shouldn't have to. While this stands in the heart of the Gray's home, it reminds them of the land they love and of the nation forcing them to wave goodbye to the one they love. With videographer Scott Schaefer, Emily Spain, KOMU 8 News, Trenton.